the force. What exactly is the force? Well, it's that exciting element of Star Wars that makes you feel like anything is possible. It enables sorts of amazing and seemingly impossible things to be performed. It's not entirely a straightforward entity to conquer or understand, but it's a powerful one. Like Yoda says back in Empire, it's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. For my ally is the Force, and a powerful ally it is. When you don't put your faith in something, you can see the limitations. And I think that's what the Force tries to acknowledge. Just putting your faith in something, and it can give you, uh, get you to a point where it makes size and strength inconsequential, and it just makes you a, a more powerful, more self-aware being. And the Force is something that's always going to be there. The Force is essentially trusting your instincts. My theory is it's kind of like a sixth sense, a subconscious process of your brain. One example I will uh, give, this is actually from Rebels, Star Wars Rebels, the animated show, uh, Kanan. Kanan at one point, spoilers if you haven't watched it, in season three, he loses his sight I can't remember how exactly, but I think it was a lightsaber hit to the eye. It was either Darth Maul or Darth Vader. It's been a while since I've seen it. But he loses his ability to see, and he wears a bandana over his eyes for the rest of the two seasons. And he uses the Force to be able to see. It's not through a sense of smell. It's not through a sense of touch. It's a whole nother aspect of his brain processing the environment around him by using this energy field that binds the galaxy together. The force binds everything together. It flows between everything that you can see. In reality, there is a true force similar to this called electromagnetic integration. I'm going to be referring to it as EM. So EM is the force that holds atoms together while also flowing through us as an electromagnetic radiation. This force is conveyed via photons by the unit of light. And it's what makes us see objects because photons travel to our eyes from said objects. And that's how we're able to see. <clears throat> Similar to how Kanan was able to see without using his eyes. So, so, depending on how you're looking at it, the force is real. That's the, the closest example to a force by science standards. Now, if you want to look at it as a religious faith, um, it can also be an, another example. I've talked about this several times in the podcast um, on other episodes. But... The force is just something you have to believe in. And if you can believe in it strong enough, then you can control it. And it can be used for light or dark purposes. So who talks first? You talk first. I talk first.